Good morning, everybody. I'm Pastor Jimmy Pickett. Uh, the verse that I want to share with you today, and I'm actually going to read this scripture. Uh, I'm actually sitting in my truck waiting on uh, my wife this morning. Is Acts 13, verse 22. And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them David to be their king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. I want you to remember that, that, that God called him a man after his own heart, which shall fulfill all of my will. And of course, David was an absolutely uh, a fantastic king, folks. Um, the reason I'm sharing the scripture with you is because, you know, we all fall short. We all fall short from the glory of God. And and I'm not talking bad about David, but, I, you know, we all know him for uh, uh, slaying Goliath, 16-year-old boy with a slingshot, and, and he, and he con through the power of God, he conquered him. Um, but what I, want to, what I want to say about it is, is the story of him and Bathsheba, and, uh, and David committed premeditated murder by killing her husband, Uriah, because he had slept with his wife while he was at battle, and she got pregnant. So David sent him to the front lines on purpose uh, to be killed. And uh, so why am I bringing this up? Because you can have redemption, folks. You can have redemption. And no matter what you think that you've done so bad and that, and that you're holding yourself into a guilt trip over it, um, that's the reason I'm using this. And God still called David a man after his own heart because, because David repented. And God forgave him. And uh, I have so many people, when I try to talk to a witness to them about God, and they'll say, well, brother, I'll invite them to church. and say, brother, I, I just can't go to church. i got to get my life right. You cannot get your life right without the power of Almighty God. You cannot do it. What is it that you're holding yourself on a guilt trip about? What is it that you've done in your life, uh, folks, and you don't think that you deserve to be forgiven? Um God, Jesus Christ paid an awesome, awesome price on that cross. Okay, he paid an awesome price on that cross so that we could have forgiveness of sins, folks. You can be redeemed. You can be forgiven. But you've got to quit letting Satan hold you in bondage over your past mistakes. Don't let anybody... Uh, hold you in bondage over your past mistakes. Don't let some preacher or some church system uh, uh, hold you in bondage over your past mistakes. You are redeemable. You are a child of the living God. And he died on that cross for me and you. You can have forgiveness. So get up. Get up and forgive yourself and let it go. Let go and let God. Can I get an amen? Amen. Hey, if this has edified you today, folks, hit your share button. Hit your share button. God's children are starving to death for the Word of God. They're starving to death for peace and hope. And so many of God's children are lost today. And it is our job to get out and spread the gospel of God, folks. Uh, hey, uh, I love you because you love the Lord. And if you didn't, you wouldn't take the time to watch these videos. And I want to give a shout out to each and every person that is watching and following this page. Um, me and my wife, we love you very much. I feel a spiritual connection with each and every one of you. And that's because we are of the body of Christ. Uh, but I want to tell you guys, me and my wife are praying for you and your families that you be blessed and that he build a hedge of protection about you. Hey, we love you and God bless you. And thank you so much for spending this time with me in the Holy Word of God. Thank you.